Today's show, we're going to be looking at the uh, first, or well, not the first, but the fourth installment of the trailer to the Avengers Endgame. Uh, as you know, the Avengers uh, movie, the Endgame, will be out on April 26th, and so I'm like ready to see this movie. After seeing the defeat of the Avengers by the hands of Thanos and losing all of our superheroes, uh, we want to see if they're going to make a comeback in this one. So, without further ado, let's start the show. Are you still looking at me? Are you still years ago I fought my way out of that cave became Iron Man realized I loved you I know I said no more surprises but I was really hoping to pull off one last one the world has changed none of us can go back we can do is our best and sometimes the best that we can do is to start over I saw all these people die I keep telling everybody they should move on some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I like this one. <laughs> wow. I'm definitely ready to go see this movie. I think the Avengers are pumped up. Have you seen the Quantum Realm suits that they had? Holy snap, they all gonna go back in time and they're gonna kick Thanos behind. But then again, the Russo brothers always give us that false sense of hope. You'll think, yeah, 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 the Avengers gonna go get it and then bam, we get hit with a sucker punch and then somebody dies. Since after watching Infinity Wars, I really don't trust the Russo brothers in, in making me think that the Avengers is going to go all out and take down Thanos in this season right here. But uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's cool that he did the flashbacks on all of the characters' first beginnings. Like you saw the first Iron Man suit when he crash landed in the desert after he escaped his capture. Then you see the, the bond between Hawkeye and his daughter. Then you also see the, the with Steve Rogers when he was a skinny, scrawny little guy, how he was dreaming of being a soldier before he be, before he took the super soldier serum. And then you see the death of the heroes, the, the loss of the Falcon, the loss of Black Panther, the loss to Scarlet Witch, and Captain America's favorite friend, Bucky, as he reached down to touch his ashes. That was the loss that was dear to the Avengers to lose all those characters in, in, in one shot. And let's not forget about Spider-Man. I mean, they didn't put Spider-Man in that trailer because it was more heartwarming felt for him because he was begging for his life and everyone felt for this young kid. And he was a kid. He wasn't even experienced in life yet. So, um, but to see them gearing up and they, you know, they all saying, you know, you know, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. That means the Avengers are really going to do whatever it takes to stop Thanos from collecting all the Infinity Stones and bring him down. 
final once and for good. And probably with the help of Captain Marvel, this, this can happen. But at the very end of the trailer, when you have Captain Marvel and Thor face to face, and Thor reached for his hammer, and his hammer came, and she just stood there without a flinch, without a blink, for a minute there, I thought they was going to fight. I would like to see that epic battle. Because in the series, they did a side story of what if Captain, uh, you know, what if Thor was to fight against Captain Marvel. And that battle was pretty good. I hope the Russo brothers bring that to light too. Bring that to the big screen. Because that was a good epic battle between the both of them to see who was the strongest. And I would like to see that. But I, I was getting a little hyped up to think, oh yeah, they're going to fight. They're going to fight in the series. But then he was like, oh, I like her. You know, I was like, oh man, come on. Don't, don't punch a dude like you do the Hulk every time, you know, he, he suck a punch you, you suck a punch him. What's, what's up with that? So, um, I'm excited. I'm going to take my kids to see this day one. I'm hyped to see it day one. We're going to see it in IMAX, and uh, I can't wait to see it. So, you guys out there on YouTube, uh, let me know what you think about the trailer. Are you going to go see the Avengers Endgame on the first day? What do you think about the trailer? Please leave your comments and like suggestions down below. If you like this channel or you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel and you like to see more stuff coming up, um, as well as the Arcade 1UP new machines are coming out, so I'll be doing some reviews on that one, as well as doing more battles on DBZ and as Mortal Kombat XL in anticipation for Mortal Kombat 11, which also will be coming out next month. So uh, if you guys like to see that, please leave, leave a little suggestion down in the comment section below. And can't wait to see this movie. So I want to thank you guys for watching from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I wish you guys a blessed day. Be safe out there. Peace, one love. See you next time. Like